Okay, watch this clip and just, just tell us if you notice anything. Oh! <laughs> Did you see it? No! Oh my gosh! No! Whoa! 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 No! Whoa, 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 whoa. I no I don't know. That's not real. I have no idea. That's, that is real. How that's could edited. you? That's something. That's crazy. With authority, dude. That was strong. Bro, did you do push-ups before this? You're like jacked up, dude. Am I? You drink just, a Mountain Dew or something? I'm just really clumsy. <laughs> no, oh, dude, it's coming across as like you're excited. Dude. Oh, I am excited. You're ramped up. <laughs> Chris, okay, yes. before we get started, how are you doing? Are good. you okay? You're doing good? Yes. Do you want to check the angles on your new machine? Yeah. Show everyone. <laughs> Wait, okay. show, you, show your camera. I'm so excited because I got this guy. The four shot. now I can switch between the different angles. And I can see everyone's angle at the same wow. time. <laughs> wow. Is this pillow behind me ugly? I need it for support. Wait, let me switch back. I can check in here. Wow. Um, I think it's cool. Chain, what do you think? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> After setting up for three hours, you don't care? No. You know what I do care about? Our show. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Uh Okay, before we get into the fashion update, don't worry, yeah. we'll play the song. Um, hey, welcome back to whatever the hell this is. We are here in LA. This is really weird to be here. We're married. There's a lot to cover. Um, drop it like drop that. It so subtly. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I don't, wait, my ring. I don't have one. And I don't see another. <laughs> Actually, um, I bought myself one. But before we get into all of that, how are you guys doing? This is a crazy moment. I can't believe we're here. I can't believe you're married. Uh, <laughs> I'm good. I'm great. I'm excited. <laughs> you know? I felt it. Yeah. It's a full moon. We're all fucked up. Is it a full moon? It's what a is full it? moon. I, you know, every time something's going wrong, I look up and I'm like, oh, I knew it. <laughs> okay, welcome back. <laughs> um, before we get started, I haven't played this in so long. And sorry, Riley, you're still not a part of it. Fashion update. <laughs> Fashion update, what's he wearing? What's the outfit for the day? What's got Jared looking sexy? Why does Chris dress oh so gay? What dumb shirt did she- Oh. oh. <laughs> Damn. Wow, everything's going wrong tonight. <laughs> Just imagine like the rest it. of the song. So yes, fashion update. Now I have a theme for next week that's like more costume based. And then for this episode, I didn't really have time. So I just went on Nordstrom.com and I bought whatever was on clearance. Boosh. And, I, <laughs> and I found all these um, ice cream clothes, <laughs> which I guess is like Pharrell's brand, I think. But also, I don't know. So we're all wearing ice cream. But and it's cute. Thank you. I love yeah. what you've got me over here. Yeah, you have a little ice cream sweater, a nice little color gradient of uh, different things. It's, kind of, it's very like saved Crushed by the bell it. to me. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you know, very cool. <laughs> um, Jared's wearing a little alphabet soup moment. I don't quite understand. I don't know if there's any actual words in his jacket. Um, by the way, if you're not watching the episode, if you're an audio listener only, check out the podcast video version. And uh, Chris, yours is more simple. I got you a little lightning moment. You're my little storm. And then if you turn around, there's a little cowboy on the back. It's really cute. Um, what about yours? Oh my god, sorry. Me, I had this little jacket, you know, it's half black and half denim, and um, a yeah. two tone moment. Yeah. yeah, I feel good. I'm like, listen, we're getting back into the swing of things. I'm trying to remember how this show goes. It's been a long time. We have a lot to talk about. Like, well, okay, so we're married. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to explain what happened or do you want to, we can trade off? You start. <laughs> okay. So basically we were about to come back to LA and we were talking about, okay, we should have a wedding. We should finally do it. We've been engaged for four years. Longer than we've been not engaged. Then we were looking into it and then my bookkeeper was helping us and she's like, oh, you know what? Uh, you should get married in Colorado because it's a lot easier. And then she's like, but you'd have to do it before we go back to LA. And I'm like, is it easy? And she's like, I think so. Just go down to the courthouse. So we did. <laughs> is, that, is there a better way to tell that story? <laughs> no, I mean, long story short, that's what we did. Because uh, like a lot of people will go get their marriage license and then you'll sign it with your officiant. But those only last for 35 days. And the day we were planning to get married was way past that. But we wanted to lock it down in Colorado. I so. literally stopped listening. <laughs> Oh my what do you mean? What? Typically when people get married, they go get their wedding license and it's just not signed. And then you sign it at the physical wedding with your officiant. I'm having such a husband <laughs> moment right now. Because I'm like not listening to my wife. 
husbands. Dude, zoning out is like a very fucking special talent that yeah. one acquires. Because there's, and it's actually a polite thing, you know? It, it could be a polite thing. And I don't want to, you know, give too many specifics, but when people are very, very complicated, like when they order food sometimes, yes. it annoys me a little bit. <laughs> but it's okay because because it, maybe to them I, it's annoying how I order. So I've learned to zone that out. I'm so good at it. At a restaurant, I'll order and then boom, I'm out. <laughs> you know? Where do you go? It's like boom, I'm out. Where are like, you? And then, then like if I'm with Sandy, she'd be like, "Hello, I'm out. Oh, sorry." You know? Where are you? Any any restaurant really? No, yeah. like where mentally. are you mentally? <laughs> oh, anywhere, anywhere. I'll just the first thing I look at, like, oh, I wonder who makes that. I wonder if it, you know, like whatever you got to do to zone out. But it, it's incredible, you huh. know, like even you were saying something earlier about how a noise you were making with the mic might be annoying, uh -huh. you know, it, well, to me it was, you know, but it's okay. Cause like right when it was, I heard it, I just zoned out. Yeah. <laughs> I you thought know? you were going to say like, oh, when you were telling me a pivotal story about your life earlier. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It, it's like, it's a, it, it's a superpower for, for some people. You know what I mean? Wait okay. a minute. Marriage treat cheap tricks, cheap marriage <laughs> tricks. life hack. <laughs> But I mean, obviously, it's you don't over abuse the, the superpower. You know what I'm saying? Right. You can't just. But you know, have you ever been driving for like a extended amount of time and realize that you weren't paying attention? Oh yeah, that yes. is really scary. And you get That's home like and you're a like, superpower. I think do that a it. lot. <laughs> I don't know if it's a superpower or like <laughs> super scary. I mean, think about it. You're driving while not paying attention, and you're, what and you're if, safe. <laughs> okay, not to jump into conspiracies too fast, but what if that's when like. Our real version that's playing the simulation is just like going to the bathroom or something. And then we come back and we're like, whoa. Wow, maybe. I wow, and I just go to the bathroom a lot. Whoa. It happens <laughs> almost every time I drive. Should I be concerned about that? Uh, the other people on the road should be concerned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will be giving you a 10 minute head start before I leave tonight. Because I'm like always. In, I'm, I'm always in like two hours or two to three hours of traffic all the time, like everywhere I'm going oh. for shoots or work or oh, anything. Oh, that's not bad, bro. I'm talking and, about and going so, 70, 80 miles an hour doing that shit. I mean. And traffic is to be expected. <laughs> Chris, actually. Uh, ha this has nothing to do with what you're just talking about, but um, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I'm ready to move on from the driving conversation. And um, that's it with our wedding. Can I say? Something? <laughs> can I say something about the wedding? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you had texted me uh -huh. saying that it happened. We're married, yeah. And uh, and I like, I got no text from you, Chris. And <laughs> no congratulations. I'm just kidding. Dang, but you guys but, follow each other on Instagram. But I also <laughs> I also got you guys a present. He did. He did. Chris it got us really sweet. sweet gifts. Multiple gifts. Wow. You like uh, here, not one, not two, five. <laughs> well, they were different. One was for the wedding, one was for Christmas. But anyway. Right. Oh. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I you guys are are so cute and in real life. And like and I don't have very many this sounds really bad i don't have a lot of super positive examples of a gay relationship <laughs> and, oh and like i don't know it's just so i don't know i you, you guys are so good to each other and you're so sweet and then like i you know to have like people that i think are cute and treating each other well be m now married like I, I have very you're probably the only example i have of that in my life and it just like I don't know. It meant, it means a lot to me, and I'm so proud of you too, and I love you too, and it's like I don't know. This is very cool. So congratulations. Well, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. That also, first of all, we love you. Thank you. But that <laughs> also see. is the perfect segue into my next thing, which was you said earlier <laughs> that you had a question for us that could possibly lead to our divorce. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no. I mean. Okay, it's just, it's actually very silly, but it caused a really big argument with me and my boyfriend. Like, what? a huge argument. Oh my gosh, don't start a fight but with us on our no, no, no. first week of marriage. We got the song ready, we gotta fight. <laughs> but right, the, we're if, queued up. Nothing may happen, because it's a silly question. Okay. It's like a silly thing. It may be nothing. If I get in a real life fight with him over this, I swear to God, Chris, I will come for you. <laughs> this may be such a silly flop, but, and you may That's have, me, sorry. And you, <laughs> you may have heard it already, <laughs> okay. but... Uh, I'm actually gonna ask it wrong, but my friend's girlfriend, uh, Michelle, said uh, she was like, "Okay, so if it was a zombie apocalypse and Eric, like Eric, if Chris was bitten and you knew he was gonna turn into zombie, would you kill him and like vice versa?" And I was like, "Of course, I would never kill the person I love. What are you talking about? Like, I'd leave them or whatever." And and then Eric's like, "Yeah, I'd kill you." And I was like, "What?" And I'm like, "But you love me." And he's like, "Yeah, but you're gonna turn into a zombie." And I'm like. How can you just kill the person you love? What do you mean? Okay, hold on. And Sorry. When you said zombie apocalypse, I started doing the Jared Zone out. <laughs> Me too. Dude, dude. 
<laughs> they so I was the follow. only. So, so over if, here, if it was a zombie apocalypse, fucking... Shane got bitten. Okay. You knew he's eventually gonna turn into a zombie. But what does that mean? I don't know. Like oh, he's no longer useful Shane, to me. Shane. No, if he's a zombie, Whoa. He'll, he'll, if he's a zombie, he'll bite you and kill you. And oh, like, you know? like zombies are deadly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So are you gonna kill him? Before he becomes a zombie. Well, won't he just make me a zombie and then we'll be zombies together? I mean, you're both dead. That's a sweet answer, that but you'll is... both be dead and like ripping each other apart and like, Ooh. you know, I don't That's know. better Wouldn't than what I was both... thinking. <laughs> you're not alive anymore. Zombies are dead. Oh. Yeah. We're dead together. It's the afterlife, baby. So would you would you kill him and keep going on? Would you just leave it? Do you know what I mean? So he got bit and I'm like. You know he's going to turn in yeah. hours and minutes. Who knows? Oh, I'm running, baby. You're just running and leaving him. You're ditching him. <laughs> Really? Well, no, I would let you bite me, but like that's not fun. You'd let him bite. Well, because I think we'd be wow. zombies together. Yeah. We'd be like You're both dead. Zombifying <laughs> the town together. Yours is cuter than mine. I was thinking like, did you ever see the movie The Mist? Uh yes, I love that movie. Well, I was thinking like the ending where like I would make him kill me. Or no, no. I would kill him. No. Wait, hold on. He one of us would kill each other and then one of us would have to kill ourselves. I'm not killing myself, so you'd have to kill me. Got it. Okay, so I'd kill you, and then I'd have to kill myself. I'll follow through. Oh. What? <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the, if we're both bitten by zombies, right? We're no, both going to die. Oh. He's bitten. You're not. Yeah. I'm not? You're not. I'll still go with you, babe. Oh, that, these are cute answers. I'll, I'm, I'll put a um, suicide hotline at the bottom of this. These are cute answers that are making me question my relationship. Really? He'd just kill me. Kill you him. Know, <laughs> how about, let me tell you my answer. Okay. I wouldn't want to be a zombie because it means I'm going to try to kill people. You know what I mean? I don't want to kill people necessarily. Right. Yeah. So I would, the second I saw Sandy turn. The, okay. The second rap. she turned. But the you'd second wait she turned, bap, bap, I'd be ready. And I'd tell her, you know, yeah. hey, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you know, um, I'd, I'd ask, do you want to kill people? She'd say, no, so I got to kill you then. You know, and wow. unfortunately, but her last moments would be filled with like the most love she's ever received in her life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, <laughs> but I'm saving myself because I would get attached and I don't want to be a zombie. You know what I'm saying? Because the chances I, I live forever as a zombie. I don't know if I want to do that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Hi, welcome to uh, my office. Oh, this is weird. Okay. This is a different location. Hopefully, does it look creepy on camera? It does? Okay, good. I have my Titanic poster, my Scream poster. Is there anything embarrassing behind me? Well, you can't really see it, but a huge picture of a lion and also a bunch of crystals. They're not working. <laughs> I'm very excited because the first thing we're going to be talking about today is something that I loved. I watched it last night and it is the new Netflix comedy special by Andrew Santino called Cheeseburger. So if you're a fan of podcasts, you probably probably know who Andrew Santino is. He has two very big podcasts. One is called Bad Friends with Bobby Lee, which is so funny. I love it so much. And the second one is Whiskey Ginger, where he does interviews. He's hilarious. He's a ginger like me and um, one of my favorite podcasters. So when uh, his people reached out for me to talk about his special, I got really excited because I'm a fan. So his new special is on Netflix right now. So go to Netflix and search Cheeseburger Andrew Santino and uh, it should come up. A lot of the things in the special I relate to a lot. Some struggles in his childhood, sometimes that he put objects in his butt. I mean, it's like I wrote it, <laughs> but it truly is one of the best comedy specials I've seen in a long time. And I'm just really proud of a fellow ginger for, I don't know, doing a Netflix special. It's just really cool and it's very rare for gingers to be out there do you know what i mean i mean yes like you know bryce dallas howard carrot top but you know we need more representation so go check it out andrew santino cheeseburger on netflix go check it out right now and support a fellow ginger and uh give it some love give it a thumbs up on netflix i don't know if you can do that but if you can give it a thumbs up all right enjoy the rest of the episode hey okay sorry to interrupt the show but we're really excited because we have new merch <laughs> I'm so excited. This is my favorite collection. Oh my God, collection. <laughs> Fashion designer. <laughs> this is my favorite drop that we've done. <laughs> uh, but this is our emo drop. And so yes, yeah, if you look, okay, oh my God. Okay, so let's start with Jared. So we have the Conspiracy Club crew neck hood and it has a little teddy bear and he's like has strings on him like he's being pulled apart and like, you know, he's being puppeted and it's really cute with spiral eyes. Chris over there, we have the uh, Emo Conspiracy Club zip up hood. Ooh. Finally a zip up. <laughs> 
Oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed there was a shirt under. Uh, <laughs> and then on the freak. I love you. Um, and then on the sides, on the sleeves, there's little, you know, emo conspiracy club, little butterfly, little bear, little something. And then his beanie has little patches. They're actual patches. And they have a little Shane Dawson podcast logo, little heart. And then Rylan has the t-shirt version, the conspiracy club. And then I have the zippy hoodie, uh, but I have it unzipped because, you know, I like to have it flowing like a rope. I, I typically leave them unzipped out of necessity. <laughs> <laughs> See? We get it. I, I get it. Same. I'm, a, I'm a big one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's our new emo merch. Hopefully you guys like it. I actually do love it though. Like I want everything. Oh, you can have it all, baby. I, it's all yours. Yeah, Shane Dawson merch. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you a special discount code. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, enjoy the rest of the show. Sorry, we filmed this after we filmed the show, and we're all exhausted. So we're delusional. But yes, enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> Whew. Um, I got a lot, I went on Instagram and I said, Hey, what do you guys want us to talk about? Give us some questions. And I got so many people asking when your wife, Sandy is going to finally appear on the pod. Does she want to do it? Uh, you know, I, I think she would be into it. Why not? Wow. Are you nervous? <laughs> no, I mean, she's, <gasps> she, uh, why, why would I be nervous? Why would you think I would be nervous? I don't know. Cause like, have you ever, cause like, she's not like a, you know, a YouTuber or like somebody who's whatever, but like. So are, you wouldn't be nervous that once there's a microphone in front of her, she's just going to be like, oh, let me give you all the tea. <laughs> I think I am weirder with her than I probably am with you guys for Ooh. sure. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's all, I, I'm not, I don't know. I, I would love for her to share some stories that I've never shared with you guys. It's probably, it'll probably be funny. You know what I mean? Wow. <gasps> oh my God. She I just got the best idea ever. Chris, Yes. I don't want to make you uncomfortable, but you have to force your boyfriend to come out. Because... <laughs> Because uh -huh. Valentine's Day, what if we did a couples episode? That would be really cute. So what's the I plan? Because I, I did get a lot of people asking, when are we going to get a boyfriend reveal? What's going dude, on? Dude, I just had the perfect idea. <laughs> what? What if we have a couples episode? Uh -huh. I'm about to fucking okay. break out of my skin. <laughs> okay. And I can't because the jacket's a little tight. You know what I mean? <laughs> so this is as far as I can stretch. Sweet. What if we have somebody be a game show host? And we do a little like one of these couples fucking Ooh, like newlywed game. Games. Yes. See yes. who what couple knows each other. We have the best? three couples. Yes. That would be cute. Yes. Who's gonna be the judge? I, I mean, don't know. I mean, I can be the judge because my boyfriend probably won't be here. But... Chris. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> what's going and on? And he's gonna kill you in a zombie apocalypse. I, let's yeah, this let's, don't sound let's good, cut Chris. it out. See you later. <laughs> so what's going See, on? End the relationship. He's yeah. done. So what's going on? Why why is your boyfriend what or do you not want to talk about this? We can talk about it. Okay, so why isn't he out yet and when are you guys going to be like a cute little, you know, IG couple? Uh huh. in his defense, uh he's slowly come out. He's told at this point basically all of his friends okay. who like none of them knew. Right. And his mother and like really? siblings know. Have you never hung out with him and his friends? Uh no, I mean we had and they didn't know in the beginning. They know now. So wait, you're like at all the family functions and stuff, and yes. they just think you're what? Well, you know what's crazy is at this point, literally every, I think, almost every family member knows except one. Uh. <laughs> and uh, You're just waiting for him to kick it? Uh, he, I, I don't know. He's not old. <laughs> like, oh, no. And he's like deeply homophobic, and I don't, mm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But it's a close one, and it's like... <laughs> The family's gonna nice. have to choose you or him. Oh no, I don't want that. <laughs> oh no. no. He also like provides for the whole family and I can't afford that. <laughs> oh no, okay, so it's never gonna happen? You're never gonna get married? <sighs> You're never gonna have a little IG moment? I mean, I hope one day. <laughs> you need to give him an ultimatum. Oh no. Him or me? Oh. <laughs> Family or me? But you're married. Oh. You're married now. Right. Now what? especially. <laughs> oh, no, no. I meant you say to him, him or me. <laughs> Not him or me. Wait a minute. Is that her voice? <laughs> you did call Chris daddy to <laughs> Fucking weird. Wait, and his family is not aware of this podcast at all or a I know. degree How do they or know? like no. hasn't seen it or hasn't followed you on Instagram and like, you're obviously gay like, on Instagram. I mean, 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't hide being Very gay. Very obviously gay on Instagram. What does that well, mean? Well, no, but like, or, or, or don't, don't You're you. You're a big don't F you, word. But, and anyone, but like a lot of people that watch the podcast know you here. Like, don't you talk about them or no? Um, I mean, I don't think any of them watch this. I think maybe a couple of them, but the ones that know. Like, not, not, not the one well, that doesn't know. Okay, here's what we need to do. This is a, a very special message to Chris's boyfriend. Um, <laughs> you know, come on. End we it. need you. End it. <laughs> we need you. We need you for the Valentine's Day show. <laughs> Ruin your family to come on the show. Because they want, the audience wants it. I would love it. Right. I would also love to meet Jared's wife. Don't change the subject. <laughs> I would. Oh my God. That's the first time I've ever heard it. So yeah, let's do it. Wait we a can minute. make it happen easily. I just realized if... Oh, no, never mind, because there's three white people here. I was going to say, because your wife and your boyfriend, that it would three uh, Latinx <laughs> and three white. We could, that could be a game. <laughs> or no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's divide ourselves by race. <laughs> That's a good premise. What are we in jail? <laughs> I I personally I like it. I like I'm it. I'm like exiting. You know? Right, let's but <laughs> it's a unique way to look at it. Everything was going so well. We had just got married and then boom. There's uh, a reason I brought it up. Okay, sorry. The seg that segue was not smooth enough. Because earlier we were talking about and I was <laughs> I was making fun of white people. As I do, Boom. and then, or even. and then, yeah. <laughs> and then even. I asked you. I was like, "Oh my god, wait a minute!" I was like, "Like, do you and your family or your boyfriend's family like do you guys make fun of white people? Like when you're not around white people?" And you were like, "Oh yeah." So then I started thinking, "What do you say? Like, what's like? How do you make fun of white people? Do it to us." <laughs> I mean, it's nothing bad. It's just like they'll do. Like, they're like a white people voice. Yeah, exactly. Do it. No. What, what does it, it sound like? Do is it, it well, very like this? Yeah. Like Todd? The no. Snoop Dogg it's, has it's not a... valid. It, it's always like, "Hi, Bob. Pleasure to meet you, pal." You know, like things like that. It's always like, and it's always Bob is always the name. And oh, it's always I figure like, Todd. <laughs> I, mean, I figure Rod. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> what else did they say, Chris? Just, yeah. Just, just think it's like, anything about her hygiene? <laughs> no. What? I don't know. What are they, no. what are they making fun of? How we drive? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I mean, just like cliche. Like, I don't know how white people pronounce things. Like, <laughs> like how white people say like, quesadilla and like stuff. You know? Get off, Napoleon. Make yourself a dang quesadilla. You quesadilla? Know. Who the fuck says yeah. quesadilla? Well, I say I would say quesadilla. Is that wrong? That's, that's pretty that's pretty good. Wow. How that would you say it? That was about the whitest thing you could have said. <laughs> <laughs> to ask if that's wrong. It's, it's quesadilla because in Spanish, the two L's reflect a Y. Yes. Yeah. And quesadilla, by the way, is because it's cheese and a tortilla. Queso is cheese. Tortilla. Dia? Quesadilla. Is that true? Is it cheese filled tortilla? Yes. Is, is, is it dia true? mean tortilla? Yeah. yeah, so so think about a tor the word tortilla has the ya at the end of it, and the word cheese is queso in Where's Spanish. Where's the D from? So it's quesadilla. Where's the D from? Yeah. I think it's just a little send off for the fucking <laughs> dia, you know? Quesadilla. <laughs> All of your Mexican you family can make fun of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving them go. all the material they need. Hey, I've been working on my Spanish. You know? I, I love, I love going to Mexico. And it is Mexican because earlier I asked you, I was like, "Well, what's the tech? What? How do I say the technical word for his family?" And you said Mexican. Yeah, they so are, I, they are Mexican. You're proving he's Mexican. Correct. Got yes, it. Yes, yes. <laughs> and if they were together, they'd be Latinx. Yes, that's true. Perexian. But also some Latino people don't even like the Peruvian. That's a whole that's a whole thing. <laughs> By the way, I think we said this already, but Peruvian Spanish and Mexican Spanish is different. Like words are different. So like I don't know, I can't confirm quesadilla because we don't have quesadillas. <laughs> what? They're like you sure and, say, and like they say aguacate for avocados and we say palta, so like everything is so different. <laughs> You know, <laughs> see, that's why your boyfriend needs to come because we need like, and then your wife like. Th there's yeah. a lot of different, you know. They can speak. They can speak in their native tongue. <laughs> you know, they're both made there. I mean, my wife, she's really Mexican. They really, yeah. she's really uh -huh. Mexican. Or you yeah. know, like her heritage is really Mexican. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been working on my Spanish. I might understand some of it. It would be cool. That'd be cool. I would yeah. love that. Um. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Wait, okay, sorry, Ryland. I do. I feel bad. I feel like I really just zoomed right past our wedding. <laughs> if you guys want the full experience of our really romantic wedding day, go to Ryland Vlogs. Yeah, I mean, I think everything is summed up beautifully there. All of the emotions were captured in real time because I don't know. 
know. We can't recreate it through storytelling. We could try. <laughs> um, no, I think that my favorite moment was uh, they made us like rehearse, like say out loud oh. these like what, like vows, kind of, but not really. They were very legal. Signed, hereby, hereby make application, application for, for a license to, to unite, unite in marriage. marriage. It <laughs> is scary how easily you could just go get married. We didn't even have an appointment. $35. We like, Let's go skip in here, pay $35 and say that we were not under a conservatorship and bam, we're married. It's yeah. like our whole wow. lives are intertwined legally. Yeah. And then the woman rang the bell. She went ding, ding, ding. Yeah. <laughs> and I've never laughed harder in my and life. And the courtroom's like, yay. And we're like, oh. Were there other people in there getting married at the same time as you? Nope. Mainly just employees. <laughs> nope. When I went in there just to get the marriage license, there's a bunch of people getting married. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. In LA, it's, well, maybe it was the day I was there. I don't know. But there's usually like photographers there taking pictures. They have a little area you can stand by. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, we only have a few more minutes before we have to take a break. But uh, before we go, do you want to give us some marriage tips? Like our first year of marriage, what should we expect? Um, I mean... Do you do you expect it to be different now that you guys are married in certain ways? I don't think so. I mean, besides using the word husband, I feel like if anything, I feel like we're, I don't know, we fight would, a little less, I think. I, I, it definitely makes it feel a certain amount of like solidity to the, to the relationship. Mm -hmm. But I think the whole point of, uh, of, of, uh, or the whole goal of a marriage is to be solid partners for each other. Right. I think you guys actually display a lot of part, like amazing partner qualities already. So just, you guys seem to be very honest with each other. You know, it's just really about being honest with each other and just working towards common goals and allowing each other to be their own individuals as well, which, so you guys, I mean, I would say don't let marriage change your inner relationship mm -hmm. and just keep it going like that. But that's the goal of any marriage, good communication, be partners, be there for each other, be supportive. You know what I mean? That's why you want someone that's going to add and contribute to your life, not someone that's going to like suck away from your life. And you, you, you want to be able to be with someone that contributes and benefits you and it makes things funner, but also understands when you just need to be by yourself. Yes. Stuff like that. What? You know, it's important. Why are you saying yes but, to everything no. that's negative? But, <laughs> you're like, look at me. It's not, it's not, no, 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 no. It's he's scowling at me. He's like, yes, he needs to Hey, yes. just, just to be fair, just to be fair, as human beings, we all have moments regardless. So like, there's always going to be little fights and stuff like that. Yeah, like because us it's hard, about the air conditioning. It, it's hard to be considerate of the whole moment and not just be in your head sometimes to get mad or whatever. But yeah. it's, you know, just know that, what, is a fight really going to break up a marriage? Probably not. You know, this is normal. But I was only saying yes because we do that is something we've been good at is I need my alone time and you need your alone time and we do a good job at it. Well, yeah. I, I sleep till like noon. So you have your morning and then I go to bed at like 4 a.m. and you go to bed at like nine. Yeah. So I have my night. Yeah. We both have our alone time. Yeah. It's great. And I do think we're very communicative and we talk about anything that's bothering us. The only thing is, and I only have 30 seconds left to ask this, but what does our kid call us? Because we're both dad. Dad one and dad two. Thing one or thing two. I always thought it would be like dad and pop or pops or papa. Or I like. think that just calls both dad. Um, interesting. <laughs> if you guys have any ideas on what our kids should call us. That just calls both dad. I just think it's okay. dad and whoever says hey first. Dad, you know? and, dad and daddy? It's a competition every time. You know? It's like dad, <laughs> boom. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> Rocket Money, I am so excited. So many of you guys reached out to me and said that you've been using Rocket Money and loving it. And that makes me very excited because I really do love this app and I think it's just an incredible idea. So yes, today's sponsor is Rocket Money, formerly Truebit. Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. This personal finance app allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, build a custom budget, and grow your savings all in one place. So last time I told you about one of my favorite features of theirs, which is that they help you cancel unwanted subscriptions. And I had a lot of them. So obviously they do that and that's an amazing feature. But another thing they do is they help you set up smart savings. So what I'm trying to do right now, and Ryland's doing it as well, is we're creating a little savings account for our future child. So every time we get paid, we want a little bit of our money to go into that account for when we have our baby. So with the smart savings, all you have to do is choose the amount and choose the frequency. And Rocket Money will automatically deposit that amount into your smart savings account. You can withdraw it anytime. It's not like it's locking it in there. It's just a really great feature and something that I don't know, every month you see it kind of grow and grow and it's really exciting. So I love that feature. Also, they help you set budgets for yourself. This is something that I really wish I had in my 20s, <laughs> but I'm glad I have it now. So it automatically monitors your spending by category. You get notifications when you exceed the amount and you visualize your spend to earn ratio by the month, quarter, or year. 
Oh, and the last thing, I talked about this last time, but a lot of you guys have been saying you've been using this. It is amazing. It monitors your credit score. They will alert you when there's something going on on your credit that is not great, and they will tell you ways to fix it. They alert you when there's important changes on your credit, and they'll even give you ideas on how to fix it. So to save more and spend less, join the 3.4 million members using Rocket Money. Go to rocketmoney.com slash grower or click the link in my description below to get started for free or unlock even more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash grower to get started for free. So thank you so much to Rocket Money for sponsoring this episode. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys check it out and let me know how it's going. Enjoy the rest of the episode. Camera A speed, scene one, take two, hey Mark. Have you ever been on TV? Yes. You have what? I was on the news. <laughs> um, it was actually very funny because me and, do you remember Rated RR, Richard yeah. Ryan? So we used to go to Hollywood and just film random videos for a channel I had, Cool Guy With Glasses. <laughs> so one day we didn't know what to do and we ended up go, going into a Hot Topic and there was Justin Bieber shirts. No. That's what okay. I did. Like, just I just, thought you meant Justin Bieber. This is I know, really I falling excited. flat no, for me. No, it, it wasn't exciting until this moment. Okay. So uh, he was in shape, so he was willing to put on like a pretty skimpy shirt. Okay. So he put on like a little girl shirt that was very dainty and his belly button was exposed and he's tall. I put on a regular size shirt with Justin Bieber on it and the channel four or seven or something was there filming and the news lady was on like the curb facing the man theater whatever it is mm -hmm. or so we were walking behind her but looking very walking very goofy but it looked like I was a pimp and he was like my prostitute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, cause I'm like, yo, and like, but it was pretty funny and it was on the news. Well, but yeah, it was on TV. That was it. Boom. <laughs> well, Ryland, I don't think we've talked about this on the podcast yet. And the other night we were watching random things and I don't even know how we got here, but you are a very featured extra uh, in what? Project X. <laughs> Dude. What? Smash that movie. Even, do you guys even know what that movie oh, is? Yes. I thought it was a talent really? show. I do. The oh. movie. <laughs> or like I can't a game you haven't recognized. <laughs> what do, do I look up? What do I look up? What? No, we're not watching we it. It is so cringy. cringy. It's good. It's good. <laughs> no. Are you partying? <laughs> what are you doing in it? Talk to us oh, about it. Project it was a big X deal. Beer pong? It sounds like it. But what, I know I've seen the movie. Because I love it's it. a party. Because the whole movie is centered around one party. Oh my God. I found it. You're in the thumbnail. Okay. Oh my okay. God. I'm in the thumbnail? Wow. Okay. Is that you? Okay, listen up. It's no called Project. Way. If you guys want to watch at home, can, it's Project X. Forty-year-old party animal gets busted on TV. Can I not give a little context? Okay. <laughs> so, because it was the movie is over the span of one night and it's one party, they were hiring extras to work for the whole duration of the movie. So everyone that got these jobs were like out of work actors that have never done well done much. And so I was Jeez. like, this is <laughs> wow. I mean, wow. <laughs> Very humbling for all these people. <laughs> these are your cultures. I'm one of yeah, them. These are, these are your associates. I'm dude. one of them, and I actually right. still like know some of the actors that I was working uh -oh. with. Well, and it did suck because like the stars of the movie like knew they were the stars, and they're just like we they walk on set after we'd all been sitting there flicking our fingers for hours. But anyway, yeah, I'm a star. Okay, <laughs> um, good backstory. Um, okay, so here is the clip. See if you can spot him. <laughs> it's so overacted and fake. <laughs> Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> Bro, it's so cringy! <laughs> it's so bad! Do you have any lines? No. Oh my god! <laughs> and that's the thing. Whoa, Dirt's good for a long time. I know, I'm oh, famous, yeah. Chris. <laughs> no, he's a star in the movie. <laughs> and because it was a lot of the same extras a lot of the time, yeah. they would pull like random ones and be like, okay, hey, you're gonna get this line. And then they'd get. Money was that and the goal? Featured. Yes, hell was that yeah. the drama between everyone trying to get a line? Yes, we're yes. all trying to like wow. get in the front of the shot so that we're featured in the shot so we could get a line in the movie. I'd say, I oh, based on that, you should be in every scene, man. You look like the realest one. Thank you. I got scammed when I so I directed a movie. 10 years ago and I didn't know anything about that like the unions or this I didn't know anything right so I, I had some extras and it was like an airport scene and I was like you know placing all the extras like okay pretend that you're milking you know <laughs> <laughs> What was the scene? I, I, I can't wait to hear the next like three to four words. <laughs> and, like you're milking. Pretend like you're like giving your baby milk or like you you pretend like you're looking in your purse, whatever. And I was like, and I told this girl, I was like, oh, I want something kind of funny happening. I'm like, 
can you like trip or you know pretend to trip because it was like chaotic and then um and the girl was like so oh, such a good manipulator she's like sure do you want me to like say anything when i trip or you know i was like i don't know yeah sure just like a, oh no or whatever and she's like okay yeah got it so then you know we shoot one and she's just like in the background she's just like oops or like oh no and i was like okay cut we got it and then the producer grabbed me and was like what the fuck did you just do? You just changed it from, you know, <laughs> she was going to make, you know, this much an app and this much a day. And now we have to pay her scale because no, she had a line. It's like and four that's times gonna, the amount. That's going to be a thousand dollars. And she did a stunt. <laughs> she did a stunt. <laughs> <laughs> and she could see she could have broken her kneecap. <laughs> so yeah. Yo, wait. You, uh -huh. yeah, it says fall down the stairs. Don't be the same thing. Yeah. Just, oh shit. Fall down the stairs. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. And I was like, oh. Wow. And they were like, you got scammed. They were like, Oh, and we were filming in Pittsburgh and I guess they film a lot of movies there so like these extras are smart they knew that I was like inexperienced yeah, that's a they knew what to trick. do that is <laughs> that's that's a, a cheap trick. no no she's in the hall of fame <laughs> For cheap tricks. That's <laughs> shout out to you. Kudos to you on that. Oh, one. she went from yeah, like fifty bucks to like a thousand bucks. Yeah, you work in a union. You got to know how to get your shit right. Honestly, well, I respect it. I'm in SAG um, after. No big deal. Oh, I've always wanted to be in the union. You're in SAG from a ten year old extra movie. That no, I got my SAG after a card from working with Justin Bieber. Oh, oh, we've talked about that. I Wait, know, but what? that's what I'm saying. I got my Have SAG we? after card Do you know like that. that? I, I don't know. If we talked about it, I might oh have been uh, super powering. No, I'm How full circle? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't remember it, but I don't remember like. <laughs> Wait, a lot. you're gonna die. Okay, hold you're on, gonna die. Hold you're on. gonna die. Uh, so <laughs> Ryland <laughs> was. <laughs> Ryland was. Uh, oh my God, Jared, Jared's Bless so you. shook. He's sneezing. Salute because uh, I'm allergic to ice cream. <laughs> 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 That's why it's on sale. <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> Sorry, Pharrell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have your shoes, too. I have your Adidas collab. I've My been wearing them for five happy. years. Yeah. Um, okay, so, so well, Ryland was Justin Bieber's body double. Were you really? I got to practice Bless all you. of these scenes, and all of the main actors would be like, you did so much better than him. No way. Because I had to do the rehearsal for like the camera Can setup. you send me pictures of you and Justin so I can put them on? Oh, yes. Put them on screen? No um, way. Yes, yeah, so like in, in music videos and this, he was his stand-in, his stunt double. So this in CS. Side, the famous clip where Justin Bieber gets shot yeah. a million times. <laughs> he, also, he, went, he also went to the, well, no, the actual one was a stunt double, but I was, I did the tech rehearsals. Wait, you're not, this isn't you? No! You're such a fucking fraud. <laughs> I've never you're told you that. this was you. No, I did not. This isn't you? This we isn't Justin it. either. Okay, if you search Justin Bieber gets shot on CSI, you can watch it with us. Such an amazing clip. I'll get that, but only the stunts. <laughs> Wait, that's not you? No. You damn your knees. He's wired, he's got a bomb. He's like, there's no bomb, one, two, three, don't shoot, don't shoot, no! <laughs> I literally thought that was you, though. <laughs> No, no, I was no his, way. no. I that's that told people stunt, that. Dude, that's if crazy. that was you, I'd be starstruck <laughs> right now. I watched that clip millions of times over like that's scrolling why I through shit. It up. I oh thought that was my you. god! Well, I was ten feet away, and I was there for the tech rehearsal. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> well, that wasn't Justin. I was ten either. feet away. <laughs> I never told you I was Justin Bieber. Yes, you did. Go back. You I have was a his blog. body double. No, you have a. Oh my god. Wait, finally, hold on. Finally, what? Uh oh, here we go again. Fight with Shane and Ryland. Fight with Shane and Ryland. Shane and Ryland. You fucking told me. You literally were like, and if you look back, there's a vlog from like a few years ago where you mention it and it cuts to a clip of it. And it's like, that's you. It's you literally liar. like a stunt double that can get shot on a set. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm bored of your Justin Bieber <laughs> story because it's a fraud, but I am wow. proud of you. I am proud of you. Um, was really I was cool. always thanking God when they called because it was so much money to do nothing. <laughs> I was no, I was broke. I was waiting tables, and it was like it was, a a, it was like four weeks of waiting yeah. tables to do nothing. Yeah, great. Um, Chris, speaking yeah. of, well, the opposite because you got paid shit for this. Yes. Um, for everything. I've but ever you done. were on a reality show, and I've never seen a clip. Is there a clip out there I can find? Uh, yeah, it was. I mean, I think they changed the name. It was Million Dollar Matchmaker, but I think it changed slightly because it like was dropped from Bravo and went to WeTV and was slightly a different name, but it's that same show. <laughs> yeah, Millionaire Matchmaker. Yeah, that one. I think it was changed to Million Dollar Matchmaker. Oh. Maybe that's what it was. 
but anyways very uh, disney of them yeah uh and yeah i got to be patty stanger's assistant on the show okay i have so many questions because i love this show this is so specific a lot of you guys might not know what i'm talking about that's crazy i feel like that was the hit of a century yeah millionaire matchmaker was so fucking good it was about this woman patty and she would get these millionaires in who like these guys who were lonely hey she's still dipping and doing it okay and yeah she is she is and um she would have in these girls audition them and pick one and then they'd put them on a date with a millionaire whatever but the show was also about her life and her business and whatever and i can't believe you were her fake assistant right because you weren't wait are you allowed to say that i think so i mean i think the show's over okay well you were like playing her assistant so what does that mean when you're on a reality show and you're playing an assistant (laughs) i don't understand did you guys have to like 20 minutes before like try to have a rapport together and try to act like you coexist all day every day together no like we did not talk when we were like did you have lines uh not really i mean we we would like talk to each other but i didn't have like a line i remember so what was the description like Like, what was the job description was it like just act like an assistant I mean, yeah, it was just like some LA casting thing where it's like you're playing the part of an assistant or something like that. And uh, and then, yeah, I ended up on the thing. And I have this if you want to see. You found a clip? <gasps> well, oh, I'm so it's, excited. it's my thing on my Instagram. Okay, airplay it. But yeah, I mean, it was like, it, it was, I think, a couple months or something. And the pay was not good. But Are you in the opening credits? Like, uh, of, Chris. I, I am in the opening of uh, the, yeah, of the season I was on. I don't know. Really? Yeah. Wait, um, okay, I just clicked on just a for random a episode. Second. So, Chris. Will you see if Maxwell has Vinny ready? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Dude, you're really <laughs> I know. Shut up! Shane, you have to Oh wow. my God. You underplayed no this quite a bit. No way. No, it's like. It's did not. you have Jared, your own wardrobe or did they Jared. dress you? I had an out, uh, the same outfit I wore like every day for a long time. I hope they watched it. You look so good in that outfit. Bro, you're in Thank it. You. <laughs> you're on the fucking show. <laughs> that is crazy. It was fun. Oh my God. Wow, dude. Really Hold on. Cool. How do I you open her door? But so many because it was the first thing i'd done on tv and i was really new so you nervous. keep saying you said first thing what what's the other stuff you've done on tv uh little things like i was in a i was in a show god it was called laugh mob laugh tracks I wait played, sorry i was i was copying and pasting something you said you were on laugh moms it was it's called laugh mob laugh tracks and it's where a comedian would tell stories and then they'd like film a visual to the story yeah. and i played the comedian's son in one thing uh i've done a few things a few little things here and there that was so like done a few things what no else, there's so man. little but like just so name, many big things name them though name, just name them off ramble them off uh, real quick were you ever on like that. a thousand ways to die I auditioned <laughs> so many yeah. times and Spike never got oh, I, there was a sci-fi commercial I was in where it was just me in my room like pretending I'm playing with a we couldn't call it a lightsaber it was a laser sword and like it was literally just me being like bsh, 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 and it was like just me being an idiot in a room and that was like a commercial that ran on sci-fi for a long time just like me being an idiot and uh, got 400 dollars for that you're fucking famous <laughs> they give you no royalties no and i learned later on everyone's like you were the o-, they're like wait you were the only one in that commercial and it aired for years in like different states like you should have got so much money from that and i was like i should have <laughs> i didn't know <laughs> if to it's that extra. non-union yeah you got to do the union commercials yeah so i didn't get paid but it was cool i had family in like other countries being like oh my god i saw you on sci-fi <laughs> you know and i was wow. like really <laughs> um i don't know I, little things i was like for a blanket, you'll miss it in a movie called uh, Hotel Artemis. I so love, why I love don't, it. are you not going to be an actor anymore? I mean, I love it. I love acting, and I would act in like if anyone is filming a student film, I would act in that any day. Like I, I love doing it really? for fun. Really? Still? Yeah, I just like love the <laughs> process of <What>? acting. <laughs> but you're um, busy. Like, like but, listen, <laughs> if somebody DMs you right now, it's like, hey, come be in my student film. You're, well, you're gonna say yes. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I very real, if very real, the, I like that. Re- <laughs> what would you really do, dude? The real answer is, if I had enough money to where I could afford to do that, yes. Like if I made enough money hold on, to where hold I on. could take a your, week off. Your dream just... is to make enough money <laughs> so that you can be an actor in people's student films for free. No, I mean the dream would be to be in like I don't know Avatar, a feature film, like a Quentin True. Tarantino movie yes. or something, you know. But uh... wait, you being an actor is fun. You really should do it. You should like start out. I've never got that kind of support from Shane. Do you have, oh. an, do you have an agent? No. Yeah, I do. I've, I've always uh. only auditioned myself. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I just like I just like it. I I like it because it's like it, this is really like it's a. Set, I said this in therapy, and my therapist was like, "Don't say that," but it's true. But he was like, "Why do you enjoy it so much?" And I was like, "Well, for a little while, I get to not be myself, which is really nice." Whoa. So I think that's what most actors think. <laughs> so it's like. So can you I cry on cue? Uh, I don't think so. I'm not. Really? I'm not an incredible actor. I just enjoy. Should we it. try to make each other cry right now? Oh, how is that legit? <laughs> oh no! Well, isn't like, that like saying a, stuff? Isn't that like a thing? Like <laughs> actors go on talk shows and they're like, "Look how fast I can start crying." Yes, the the oh from Jurassic World. It's got a pluck and Bryce Dallas Howard. Right. Yeah, she she went on a, a show and she was like, they were like counting down and she was crying by the end of the countdown. I was like, oh my god. Wow. Yeah, I can't. I wish I could do that. That's talent. But I also can't cry in real life either. I just have a problem crying. <laughs> like, should think of <laughs> should think about that. Um, Jared, now that I'm thinking about it. So Chris wanted to be an actor. Now he's here, but you're going to get back to it. Rylan wanted to be an actor. I'm going to be an actor. Okay. He's going to be an avatar. I want that confidence. (laughs) I wanted to make movies. I made one. Hopefully I'll make another one. Maybe. I love Um, your movie. Thank you. I really do. Wow. Thank you. It was so funny. I love you. (laughs) Uh, Jared, what did you want to do? Or what's something that you still want to do? Or something you want to jump back into? Obviously the rap career. Yeah, uh, you know, recently actually, I met up with a buddy of mine that I've known for you know twenty plus years, and we made a song that has almost another kind of genre in it, which I've never done before because it's not like it's outside of my comfort level, you know. So music in general is something I would I would like to pursue at some point, and I don't want to perform it though. Because I don't think I'll ever be successful as a musician. Why? That just because I'm a realist. Like the the kind of grind it would take for me to make me yeah. like viable to any kind of marketing or anything beyond grassroots is very difficult. Unless fat redhead dudes become the next big fucking wave. You know what I mean? Like it's just because it's mainstream. The money to be made in music is very like grindy and harsh. I would rather be on the end of just creating really awesome music Mm. that allow artists to go tour off of or whatever. So I just like being around creative people though. That's why I enjoy this, you know, expanding companies or making my own companies. So kind of what I like to do. So I guess I've always kind of done what I liked, you know what I mean? So what you're saying is maybe this year we should try to do a musical (laughs) <laughs> that involves acting. I can't sing, dude. I, I know my I boundaries. Singing. The guy I, the guy I uh, did this song with that I'm working on. I told them I feel like we should do a musical. No. Yes. I could direct. Think about like if you could make a Hamilton or something. Oh, I would love that. Like think about if you could make something that got that kind of like notoriety or whatever. You would have and, so like... much money. You could be in student films. <laughs> Dude, dude, you could possibly finance a student film, yes. write it, direct it, uh-huh. star in it, get a makeup artist to make you every role of the fucking yes. movie. The teachers are like, what is he doing here? But I'm just saying, like, there's these generational <laughs> musicals that blow up, and it's like, I, I do think right now, it's right for the taking for someone to come in and scoop with an amazing musical that appeals to a lot more people than just, like, you know, whatever's out there that I don't even know about because they don't appeal to everybody, so right. I don't know about it yet, you know? Interesting. I have yeah. some ideas. Uh, yeah. What about your TV appearances? Oh, yeah. And movie. Dude, I remember that commercial. Smile. <laughs> McDonald's? Mc- Dude, that was super popping. You were dipping the nugget? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Oh, my gosh. You were really famous. <laughs> and Smiley. And I thought I was famous. Oh. Uh, you were like the star of a horror movie, basically. Internet famous? <laughs> Oh my Internet gosh. Internet famous. Wow. These are other things. You're so talented. You're yeah, Shane's yeah. actually yeah. like, this shit's so modern. <laughs> Dang. I auditioned for thousands of things and didn't get any of it. I only started getting things when I was a YouTuber. Before I was a YouTuber, well, I did get the McDonald's commercial. But before I was a YouTuber, I really got nothing. Wow. Oh, I auditioned for so many Disney Channel things. Me too. Yeah. Now we're here. Dude, you should just write a whole movie about yourself. About myself, <laughs> I don't know. But then it like some movie about like someone crying for earlier that. something came to my mind, dude. I didn't bring it up because it's almost like too weird to even say. Mm-hmm. What? I don't even want to say. You had a dream well, about because Chris. The, 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 because like, you know, it's like, okay, I'm not I've never been in this scenario, but do gay guys be like, Hey, are you a top or a bottom? Yeah, yeah. So like like let's say I'm you. Okay. Ask me. Oh God. Okay. Right. Top or bottom? You can't spell Christopher without top. (laughs) (laughs) But that could be your line, dude, in your cheesy corny movie. What if he's a bottom? Then you say, "Just kidding." 
<laughs> oh. But it will make him laugh or be like, that was stupid. Like, I know. That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> like, I've never wow. heard anyone I don't say even know why I life. thought of it, but I was thinking, like, Chris Tuffer is like, as oh, like, it has like three words in it, you know? She worked that in the musical. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, okay. Before we take another quick break, uh, I can't believe I forgot about this, Chris. What? Give me that Peruvian fact. Oh. <laughs> We need it, dude. Please. Um, okay, so I feel like I'm cheating because a lot of people sent this one to me. Oh. And to be honest, I didn't know about it before people sent it to me. But I did research, and in a in a specific part of town, in a specific province near Cusco in Peru, there's a town uh, where <laughs> there's a thing called Takanakui, and Takanakui is an annual established practice of. <laughs> Fist fighting fellow community members on the 25th of December on Christmas Day. So what happens what? is in this town, they don't like throughout the year. If someone's mad, they're like, "I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna save that for talking." Like a purge, <laughs> kind of. And they all let it go, and they're all cordial. But then once a year on Christmas Day, they all get together and they have a big festival. They wear masks, and there's like music and like a kind of a parade. And everyone in town gets excited and dances. And then they like go, and they're like whoever. <laughs> they just like beat the crap out of each other like they like fight each other and let it out on this day so you're good for the rest of the are year. there rules yeah there are there are grand rules like no kicking someone if there's down and things like that and uh yeah there are certain certain rules so you don't beat up the person at the moment of them pissing you off you're just hoping maybe you get a shot yes. in on them at the thing because you're all wearing masks <laughs> yeah you, you, cool. sa you save it for that and i don't know if you can like fight one-on-one -on -one if you can pick some i'm not sure exactly how that works necessarily but yeah, I mean, people fight each other, and that's the thing. I told my mom about this, and she's like, um, I've never done that. I don't know anyone that's done that. Liar. And we had to look it up, and it's because it's in a very specific part of Peru. Oh. It, it's you got to travel every so year. Not where my mom's At from. At one not. club. <laughs> I don't want to be offensive, but can you say it again? Uh, Takanakui. Wasn't that the whale in Avatar? <laughs> Wasn't it? I don't Do you remember. remember? The it was whale? like the. It was like the. We go to the Takuni Nintini, and, it, and then the whale was like talking. Did you guys see Avatar? It was that was the a first threat. or the second one. The second one. Oh no! I They're haven't. like the the whale. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do know what you're talking. Can you about. Google it really fast There's so I don't get canceled? The whale talks in it. Well, they talk, but it's like, but there's subtitles, so it's like the whale will be like. Ooh, and the subtitle's like, hey, how you doing, Jim? Um, they do. Get they're, they're called the Tolkien is what they mm. are. And I don't know if he had a specific name, but the whales were called the Tolkien. Okay, I'm wrong. But it was, <laughs> it was close. It was close. <laughs> okay, don't punch me. Um, anyways, wow, interesting fact, Chris. It? Wow, it's really it scary. <laughs> I'm just confused really on if you can take it out on the person you're actually mad at. That I don't know. I'll follow up. Of course. No, they come to the I, festival in masks. You know, I know. Are but you not, kidding me? Not everyone's masked. I mean, you. I would are, just roll but... up in the other name, like yo. <laughs> You're you like, know, right? Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> what is there? Five thousand people? There can't be that many people doing it if it's a very small area. Well, shout out um, to Vilka. Yeah, shout out to the Tukan and <laughs> Shane. <laughs> Uh, the Tolkien? <laughs> it also sounded like Costco, the town. What was okay. it? <laughs> <laughs> that's way worse. I'm just that's, saying. That's, way that's worse. funny. Costco that's funny. is also a place where I want to fist fight. <laughs> I was thinking couscous when he said it for some reason. But yeah, Costco. <laughs> okay, let's take a break. Okay, our final sponsor today is Ridge Wallet. I cannot tell you how much I love this. I've already told you a million times, but I love this product so much. So thank you, Ridge Wallet, for sponsoring this episode. Now let me tell you a little bit about it. So I don't have my wallet on me right now. Rylan has it because he's going to the store and I needed something, long story. But I've been using the Burnt Titanium Wallet every single day since they started sponsoring the show, and I love it. So obviously, I love how pretty it is. I love how much it holds. It holds up to 12 cards and even has room for cash, and also has over 30 different colors and styles like the carbon fiber and of course my favorite the burnt titanium but the thing i love about it the most is something i've talked about before but the rfid blocking technology has saved me because i've been in an airport recently i've been out christmas shopping a lot and now i'm not nervous at all when people pass me or bump into me you know there's that fear of like did they just get my information because it's happened before but with the ridge wallet i'm not afraid at all it's great i love it i keep it in my front pocket i'm never worried about it and a lot of you guys messaged me and said you got it for your dad for christmas which i love it's a perfect dad gift but i just love them so much every wallet comes with a 
lifetime warranty because it's made with such incredible strong durable material and the ridge team is so confident that you will love your wallet that they give you a 45 day test drive period and you can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it so they are going to give you guys 10 percent off of your order if you go to ridge.com grower and use code grower at checkout that's ridge.com grower using code grower for 10 percent off thank you so much ridge for sponsoring this podcast all of last year and now this year and also for sponsoring the jeffrey series that was so incredible i love you guys and please go support them because they're an amazing company and they make a product that i love and i use every day i don't know what that voice was anyways thank you ridge hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the show and i'll see you next time bye here comes the easter bunny what's happening oh nice oh shit what the hell what's happening yeah you're kidding shane what is happening Whole milk? Okay. Okay. Oh, none for me. The girl. <laughs> yeah, wait, Ryland doesn't get any. Don't worry, Ryland. I haven't forgotten about you. Okay, here's a Pepsi catch it. You're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't think this through. I trust my catch. I don't trust your throw. <laughs> That's marriage. All right, you guys are partners here. Okay, we're partners. Ready? Shane, that's uh -oh. what I mean. You I'm gotta sorry. throw it over. Uh -oh. What? You gotta throw it. This landed here. Okay, sorry. Over. You fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he's being very honest right now with how he feels. You um, know, he's trying to give you some, some teamwork advice. There it is. There you go. Boom. And three throws, you got it's it. Two straws over. at the same time? <laughs> Oh my hell. You did it, you did it. You did it. Dude, you guys are exhibiting what it takes. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Conspiracy Corner. Now we have some really dark, creepy, cool conspiracies, but first I want to do some snack ones. <laughs> Jared, you actually sent me one of these. Yes. So this is, and I have all of our little materials here. Jared's fault. So, <laughs> wait, which one should we start with? Oh, uh, the orange juice. Which one do you think will taste better? The oranges. Then let's do the other one first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this yeah. is this is not a conspiracy. It kind of is. So I don't know if what? you guys remember this, but during the Christmas uh, time, there was a viral moment where Lindsay Lohan was the face of Pepsi, and she. I love that you're doing that. What? Cause like. Put your oh. hair in the cup. <laughs> yeah. oh. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I used to do that when I was little. Like. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways, Me too. Lindsay Lohan. Um, so she was the face of Pepsi for a second, and uh, she was promoting Pilk, which is Pepsi with milk. <laughs> And it was like, give Santa milk, milk and cookies. Well, when you what? told me that Lindsay Lohan was promoting it, I knew it was legit. Oh, yeah. You know? And then there's, a, there's some, so nobody knew if it was a joke or not. She's having her moment. Because it was like a real commercial. It was like her, it was legit. They spent money on it and she's pouring milk into Pepsi and she's drinking it. That is one dirty soda, Santa. And then a behind the scenes clip came out and Lindsay was like, this is actually good. It's actually pretty good. And I was what? like, okay, we're trying this shit. I don't know what the conspiracy is, but I want to know, is Pilk good? <laughs> so everybody pour some Pepsi Is, is there a cup. ratio you're supposed to put? I think it's like 75% Pepsi, 25% milk. Oh, okay. And I got the straws for mixing. Ooh. <laughs> so let's see if Lindsay Lohan's Pilk is, is legit. There's Yo, I'm on that Pilk, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> There's no way Lindsay Lohan is drinking What are you drinking? I'm drinking Pilk. Lindsay's at home drinking Coke. I don't know it. if I've ever had whole milk. <laughs> I just had a sip of it, and I'm like, whoa. You had a sip of it? Yeah, I just wanted to taste it. <laughs> you know what's so good? Sorry, this is a side note. I Definitely. love milk. Anybody that clicked on this video thinking they were getting, like, conspiracy? Conspiracy. Is Lindsay a lying sack of shit? Hey! Or is Pilk delicious? <laughs> Does this look recently? like a good ratio, or is this too much? Yuck! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're all gonna have to deal with it at some point. <laughs> we're all gonna have to run to the oh, toilet. Okay, right. It looks too good, and that makes it grosser. Here we go. Ugh, it, is like... it looks like a Starbucks drink or it something. Kind when of you're looks good. It. I think I'm allergic to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, let's take a sip. Oh, so, just a second. I gotta stir it. I'm which scared. Is like I just gotta part. pretend I don't know what's going on. Well, Go in I'm with not, an open heart. Yeah, I'm, I'm not weird about it for some reason. Okay. Ugh. Wait, we have to all do it You're together. disgusting, Chris. You're disgusting. <laughs> dude, my I'm already dry even a little bit. <laughs> Did I just drink it without the straw? Do I need the straw? Yeah, dude, yeah. please don't get it in your mustache. If you <laughs> plug your nose, maybe it, you won't. I got a pilk it. mustache. <laughs> all right, three, God two. Got pilk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. It's kind of good. <laughs> it's not that bad. Wait. 
Do you know my like super in a pilk right now? <laughs> it's kind of good. I don't have a pilk problem. <laughs> I don't think it's bad. You know, it's exactly what I thought, which is like a weird version of a fucking huh. like root beer float. Root beer float. Yeah, it's it kind of good. Wait, Lindsay. Like Li- okay, Lindsay. I don't know why I doubted you. <laughs> I think I need a little more Pepsi. Gingers don't ratio. lie. Never doubt Lindsay. Never. What the hell? I guess kind of root beer floaty but eh. yeah i kind of love it oh my god i love pilk i cannot be with you pilk heads it's really not bad i'm about to finish my pilk i think you're <laughs> almost done with your pilk. <laughs> well, I, I, I thought it was gonna th- make one throw up so i filled it up to my ear yeah I, you were the biggest pilk hater uh, wow conspiracy mm, not for me <laughs> um okay this one is more in the conspiracy lane so supposedly if you mix orange juice and hershey's strawberry <sighs> syrup it tastes just like Skittles. This is something I can get behind. <laughs> now, yeah, this is, I don't this is understand to me. how that makes sense. Well, it's two fruit concoction flavors. <laughs> the orange juice is a good palate <clears throat> cleanser from the pill. Oh yeah, orange juice is, I don't like it very often, but when I drink it, I like it. Oh. Mm. Okay, I think that's the ratio. Ooh, like blood orange. Oh, dude, I'm going oh. in. Do you put all the orange juice? Oh, you put it in the bottle, that's smart. Shaky, shaky. Oh. That's oh. so much prettier. Chris. I feel stupid. I We're a bunch of idiots. I took it got weight too. I followed bro. your cue, hold Shane. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That does not have the cons- What is that? <laughs> Wait, Chris, throw, <laughs> throw the syrup to right. <laughs> okay. This is not gonna I think well. you got to Be very add careful. <laughs> I think you got to This is lot. more scary. Lob it. Underhand. Lob it? You got it. Ooh, wow. Okay. It's delicious. Sorry. Whoa, you guys are drinking it? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I needed pilk out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. Yuck. <laughs> okay. Everybody mix. All right. I'm ready. Three, Three two, two, one. <laughs> Ew. That is not Skittles. That's orange juice. That's not Skittles. Maybe need some pilk in Wait it. Wait a minute. No, I taste the Skittles. You guys are idiots. <laughs> Did I not do enough can, can I get strawberry syrup? Yeah, I don't think that's I what I'm thinking. Sure. You guys are just big dummies. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. The aftertaste is fucking Skittles. The aftertaste is Skittles. I gotta wait for a burp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, the burp is super Skittle. Whoa, Chris just went in. Damn, <laughs> big old load. Chris said I can't. <laughs> what's that? What's that? Oh my a god. Big dude. old load. <laughs> big old load of fucking strawberry whip. Sorry, yeah. If you guys are playing at home, give yourself a big old load. I mean, it does taste like Skittles, but what would be even better, though, is just have a glass of orange juice and eat some Skittles. <laughs> I, I kind of taste Skittles, but to me, it tastes like a watered down. I don't know. Old, like, it tastes like if you ate a whole huge family sized bag of Skittles and threw up. Ooh, very good. Yes. Because the orange <laughs> juice is like throw up. Jared drinks syrup with that stick. Wow, well, that was fun. (laughs) Um, Okay, so now let's move on to the actual conspiracies. This first one isn't really a conspiracy. It's just more proof that Disney has done some crazy fucking shit. Have you guys heard about the Mickey Mouse cheese situation? No. No. I don't even know how to explain it, so I'm just going to show it to you. Yeah, it's very graphic. It's what? <laughs> if really? you have kids, move them out of your house. <laughs> move them? What? I don't know. <laughs> get, get them away from you right now. Whoa. Okay, watch this clip and just just tell us if you notice anything. So it's Mickey Mouse making Swiss cheese. How are the oh. holes getting made, you know? Oh! <laughs> Did you see it? No! Oh my gosh! No! Shame. I was looking at his mouth and then I. Whoa, 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 no. whoa, 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 I, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know. That's not real. I have no idea. That's, that is real. How that's could edited. you. That's something. That's crazy. What? Isn't that the craziest thing you've ever seen? That can't be Also, no. who fucks cheese? <laughs> Yes, that's the problem. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, well, a mouse would fuck cheese. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because like mouses and cheese, mice and cheese, it kind of makes sense. But it's too far. It's too far. Yeah, but the mouth does look weird. Is the but, mouth does kind of? It's because like he's enjoying. <laughs> it's okay, his but, orgasm face. But like, is that what they meant for this to be? Is this just yeah. drawn weirdly? Is no. this edited? Is this... <laughs> no, the, he takes the cheese, which is blank, and he puts fucks it, 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 fucks it, it's and puck, then the cheese puck, has holes puck. in puck. it. No way. I mean, you can clearly see his penis. I know. I just <laughs> wait. I did see there was one really good comment on that video. Um, it said, "At least it's not cream cheese." <laughs> <laughs> Am I stupid? Like cream cheese? Like at least he's not coming in it. 
Uh, Anyways. Uh, um, yeah. So uh, that's crazy. I have no conspiracy other than yuck. I don't know. Actually, Chris, can you Google it? Just Google. I should have done this before the show. But can you just Google, is Mickey Mouse fucking the Swiss cheese real? I feel like it has to be. <laughs> It looks pretty fucking real. Unless somebody who's like an incredible animator took their time to make that. I mean, do we actually want to know? Is it going to ruin it? Humor, though, changes. My, you know, videos from 10 years ago, not funny anymore. Fucking a cheese from 100 years ago. Maybe it was funny back then. Yeah, maybe as a joke. Like, oh, you know, it gets Swiss cheese gets its holes, right? Because the mice fuck it. Maybe it was a thing people said, and it was funny. It was like, I thought yeah. my spiked hair looked cool. Yeah, you know what? You know? I, st- I stand with Times that, change. Times change. Did you Google it um, or no? Uh, time I did, up. but we don't have to ruin it. Uh, oh, it's fake. We're not ruin it. Is it we'll fake? just say it. Who cares? It's not going to ruin my life. Uh, Google says it's fake. Really? What is it? Because Google is owned by Disney. Google says that uh, a viral uh, video of Mickey Mouse using an obscene method to make cheese is uh, edited, and, and they pull animation from different episodes. <gasps> Honestly, it's good to debunk it though, because that clip had like 50 million views. Like people really <laughs> believe this. We believe it. <laughs> and I was just like, there's no I don't think way. that Doug Campbell eight years ago at twenty six thousand views fake this. How do you think, think Disney real. hasn't gotten that taken down? There's a lot of boners throughout Disney movies. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Little Mermaid. Uh huh. Huh. That's enough for me. <laughs> um, okay. Now this is more um, going along with. <clears throat> the whole Barbie thing that we talked about in the last episode. Oh my God. Audio illusions. Now, I've talked about this in videos before, so if you've seen my conspiracy videos, you might have already seen this, but I've never experienced it with you guys. So, there are different audio illusions. So, I am going to play you some, and you close your eyes and tell me what you hear. Ooh. Okay, ready? Like nap time. <laughs> What do you hear? I hear brainstorm. Rainstorm is what I heard. I heard nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Now, yes. So some of you heard brainstorm. Okay. Yes. Now, listen again, but this time think green needle. <gasps> oh, ew. <laughs> Did you hear it? Yeah. One more time. I heard I heard it clear as day. And now you can go back and it, forth in your what, brain and f- think before you hear it. I think still can't hear brainstorm. The, fir- the first time I heard brainstorm. And then you played it again and I clearly heard green needle. Yes. I heard brainstorm this time. I heard both of them. Welcome to the club. <laughs> I can hear both like clear. Whoa. And you can just keep going back and forth. It's the same audio clip over and over again, but your brain can switch it back and forth whenever you want. How does that happen? I have no idea, but it's an audio illusion or something. I still think that Ken said fuck. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> Wait, but uh, do you hear them? Yeah, I hear them. Do you really? Yeah, I'm just wondering if Jared's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I just noticed that I have milk. Oh my God! Did you did? It. And I had strawberry syrup next to me. I thought I love Genius. strawberry milk. Genius! Let's finish <laughs> off that bottle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that, did you make strawberry milk? <laughs> I'm down to fifth. Huh? Did you make it already? Oh yeah. Uh, you oh. want some? No, I'm okay. Okay. This one I played and I could not hear both. And but I looked at the comments on the video and everybody's like, Oh my God! I hear both. I hear both. And I feel stupid. So I'm gonna play you something and tell me what you hear. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Tunchi. I hear cheesy. That's what I hear. What do you hear? <laughs> These are so fucking confusing. <laughs> <laughs> They're like drowning you out with music, and then it's like ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you didn't hear it? You didn't hear cheese? Is it string cheese? cheese? Did you I, hear it? I heard toon chi. <laughs> <laughs> Who's making these? Okay. Slow way. Well, I heard cheesy, right? I heard cheese. But some people said, oh my God, I can hear cheesy and I can hear powerful. <laughs> Power. <laughs> like, okay. there is no way. So that's why I played it, because I thought maybe one of you guys would be like, powerful. And I'd be like, oh. <laughs> what are these titles? Cheesy or powerful? <laughs> There's, yeah, like, 
Not even a little bit. No, of power. it doesn't I even couldn't sound get like any of the areas of powerful. It doesn't even sound like cheesy to me. It's like king sing. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good Miranda sings impression. Okay, okay, everyone, close your eyes. Rylan, do that again. King <laughs> <laughs> sing. Oh my god, string cheese. Okay. okay, now this is a uh, kind of an audio illusion, but this one actually freaked me out. Maybe it was because it was like four in the morning and it like tripped me out. But there is gifs that are muted, like there's no sound, but you can feel and hear them in your head. Ooh. Okay, let me show you. So watch this gif. Really, just watch it and tell me what you feel or hear. At least a little boom. Yeah, you can boom. hear the boom. You can feel it right in your ears. Yeah, yeah. I just feel it. It's like a. I can feel Dum. it. Yeah. Dum. Like it gives me shivers. Like, like it like makes my head hurt. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> and there was another one. Oh, get yeah, no that this one's even worse for me. Isn't oh that my crazy? God. Yeah, it's like giving it, it like hurts my head. Like, oh. This. oh, I hate it. You like gotta turn it off. <laughs> it's like it's the weirdest sensation to like <laughs> Feel it instead of hear it. <laughs> okay, sorry. This isn't a conspiracy, really. None of these have been really. <laughs> what am I going to call this? A conspiracy. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Milk is good. Um, no, but okay. So, did you guys see Megan yet? Mm -hmm. The robot movie about a little girl. No, but no. I want to. With like the bitch face. <laughs> no. Oh, it's like a toy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so yeah. I, I saw a preview. Yes. Okay, so you saw the preview. So in the preview, you know, there's that part where she's like you know, learning how to do TikTok dances with the little girl. And then later in the trailer, she like does a TikTok dance and then kills somebody. <laughs> wow. Anyways, that happens in the trailer. That's like the biggest moment from the trailer and everybody's talking about. It. So we saw the movie the other night. It was really good, but I was confused because, and maybe I was looking down at the floor or something, but I don't remember them showing her learning the dances. No. And then he asked me and I was like, wait, no, no, I never saw that either. But then I did see a clip online where the girl and the girl were dancing yes. in the test pod. But that, from what I remember, was not in the movie. But in the movie, randomly, out of nowhere, she starts dancing and then kills someone. So then it got confused. So I Googled it after. And the director of the movie, they were like, so what was the dance? What is that? And he's like, oh, I just thought it was funny. Like, we were filming. And I was like, oh, what if she danced? And then, like, she did it. And then, like, we kept it. And I was like, <laughs> it was just. So then that sent me down a whole nother wormhole of like things that were in trailers that weren't in the movie. Then I looked into it even more and there's a new um, law going on where you can now sue movie companies for false advertising in trailers <gasps> and people are doing it no now. No way. Which then I got scared because I'm like, are people going to sue me for my thumbnails? <laughs> <laughs> because now, okay. I can, now I can put Megan in the thumbnail of this video. <laughs> and they're going to click on it and they're going to be like, I was expecting a Megan conspiracy. It kind of is a Megan conspiracy. <laughs> Honestly, it is though. I because why Titanic would... one. <gasps> what? Stop it. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited. So the Titanic. Okay. Was their motive behind it. Right. So evidently... In the 1910s or early 1900s, there was one man that owned like 80% of the mortgages in the United States. Okay. And there was one bank doing business with him. And there was a rival bank that didn't like this because this dude was holding up the bank's capabilities because he owned so much equity in the mortgages. So the people that built the Titanic were commissioned by the competitor bank. And on the day of like everyone getting on the Titanic, all the elites were on there, all the bankers, yeah. all the higher ups. Shut up. Oh my Shut God. Up. The guy that owned the 80% of the mortgages, the bank that was banking with them, as well as all these other elites, they all got on the boat as well as the co competitor that had a commission to be built. And right before the boat took off, the Titanic, all of the people that orchestrated it got the fuck off. No. And that's how, they, that's how you do business. You kill everybody, you know? Cheap trick, or expensive trick. <laughs> Very expensive <laughs> Tragedy. Trick, but it's about the ROI. So, like, what <laughs> did they gain from this? Probably tr trillion. Who oh knows? Oh, my but God. But I'm just joking. It's not never cool to kill, like, 3,000 people. But, like... <laughs> <laughs> just in case, just in case you were clear. <laughs> obviously, guys, in case it's not very obvious. But uh, yeah, so evidently the Titanic was really just a way to eliminate a bunch of competition. And these were the only things holding up this family from running all of the banking in the United States. Okay. I had heard about the other, because a lot of people were asking, oh, when are you going to do the Titanic theory? But I've t done it before a few times in videos. 
And it, but it's different. It was like the Titanic is actually, I think the Olympic or something, it's like actually a different boat and it wasn't actually the Titanic that sank. And it was like an insurance fraud thing. Yours is completely different though. I've never heard that. I've heard that too. And I've heard that there was a book that was written like a hundred years previously that, uh, kind of like predicted exactly to the T what happened on the Titanic. So my thought is these banker guys or whoever orchestrated it thought, oh, I read this book, dude. All you do is you build a boat and like you just put everyone on it and you sink it. And they're like, beautiful. Oh my God. Lights, camera, action. Ryland's recap is about to happen. Ryland's recap. On today's episode of the Shane Dawson podcast, the boys get addicted to pilk. <laughs> oh, people in Peru just beat each other up on Christmas. Hold on. <laughs> we literally got married, and you're starting with pilk <laughs> and Peruvian fights? <laughs> Major breaking news alert Shane Dawson and Ryland Adams are married. Oh, in, in big uh, gossip alert. Who's going to take whose name, even though Shane's last name is fake? <laughs> <laughs> Ryland's keeping his own name, and so is Shane. Oh, Just oh, say. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not becoming Ryan Yaw, <gasps> and you're not becoming Shane Adams. Ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh. Oh, you like that? It kind of sounds good, but no, 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 I won't, I won't. I won't. And I, I won't, I bitch. won't either. No, you won't even like hyphenate Sandy or something? Did you do that, Jared? Sandy, yes, she's Sandra, y'all. I would compromise, but but is then how do we figure that out legally? It just seems like a lot of work. Yeah, I'm bored. <laughs> I'm zoning out. Ooh, zoning out. Learning how to zone oh, out. Yes, oh, super. Cheap Superpowers. trick. Cheap trick. Instead of wasting all of your energy, just zone out when somebody's annoying you. Your spouse, your coworker, your boss. So now, imagine how peaceful the world would be. Yes. If more people zoned out. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, oh. If you're an extra in a movie, get a line. <gasps> oh yeah, trip. If you happen to be in Hollywood and are an extra in a movie, make sure to trip and scream a line. You'll quadruple your money. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Um, Oh, Mickey Mouse, fuck cheese. (gasps) In scandal alert, Mickey Mouse is fucking cheese. (laughs) You thought you knew where your holes were coming from. Whoa. Ooh. Where do holes in cheese come from? Oh, orange juice and strawberry. Oh, yes. What's Skittle that called? Oh, it affected Chris's GERD. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it was Chris's GERD. 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 With a GERD update, Christopher Burr is coming to you live. How should do you I say ch- your last name? Should I change my last name? How do you say it? Uh, Breitinger. Oh, Breitinger is here live. <laughs> With my GERD? Update. Yeah. Oh, it's painful and it hurts and all of this made it worse. Describe and I feel, the pain. I feel like I'm vomiting uh, like fire, lava. It's like coming up a little bit and it hurts and it causes me to cough and sound funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. In happier news, is there any? Anything <laughs> is happier than that. Uh, oh, Mexicans uh, making fun of white people. I don't know. Yeah. In race about world, yeah. racial news. <laughs> the news reporter doesn't want to lose his job, but Chris <laughs> makes fun of behind closed doors. White people? You can say white people. I think you're allowed. Oh, <laughs> yeah, come on. They can take advantage. You can talk about white people. Reporters are getting fired left and right for anything. You breathe and they're fired. <laughs> oh, Chris was on a reality show. Dude, Chris is like a movie star. Chris is a star. literal star. In famous yeah. co-host news, the boys have all appeared on TV. Yeah. Chris being the famous assistant to Patty Stanger in Millionaire Matchmaker. Million dollar matchmaker <laughs> on we canceled <laughs> millionaire matchmaker pay. re-picked up by we tv <laughs> million dollar matchmaker jared was a background actor in the news <laughs> ah, that's like saying you're in the custodial arts right <laughs> that's like trying to explain yeah. your like bad record like i was a background actor on the yeah. news a few times <laughs> Anything. I don't know, bro. You watch the five o'clock news. <laughs> the one time, no repeats. Bieber. Ryland reached fame oh, with dude. Justin Bieber, where he got his SAG card. He reached. Hey. <laughs> Fucking that was a reach. He oh, lied. But you were in Project X. It was a star of Project X. And I you still were... get comments daily 
with people discovering my appearance in Project X. Really? <laughs> yes. No way. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and Shane's actually famous. He was in Taco yes. Bell, <laughs> McDonald's. He's been the star of an actual, not one, but two, probably three movies. Yep. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> probably. Maybe movies. Oh, I don't no. know. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, famous. wait. Yeah, oh, that guy. We have new merch. <gasps> new emo <Yes>. merch. <laughs> Because the emo episode was such a hit, the Shane Dawson podcast has just released new emo merch. It is adorable. <laughs> ShaneDawsonMerch.com. Everything is beautiful, delectable, and at a good price. All right, you guys, and that's it for today's episode of the Shane Dawson podcast, the first of the year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New year. year. Make sure you're following everyone on social media, and we love you very much. Listen on all audio platforms, like, subscribe, and make sure you listen, because if you keep listening, there's a chance in this world that this show might go weekly right yes <laughs> we need you guys to watch <laughs> because yes it's, it would be nice to get enough advertisers to make it make sense to go weekly i really want to do it and we need to but i think we're going to go weekly soon we just have to get in a good flow we're going to start filming every week if yes I, if i can stop working for all of my other clients <laughs> Wow. And just do this. That'd be great. There's two I'd still work for. Okay, yeah. There's wow. Two. Whoa. Uh, in he had to say that so when all the clients news. ask, he's like, I said two. You're one. <laughs> no, they're really. Yikes. And just a yes, reminder truly. if you want Chris for one of your uh, student films, <laughs> send him a DM. I would. And oh hit gosh. him up. No audition, though. You're not auditioning. I don't That's want a direct booking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm available for direct bookings too. Really? <laughs> yeah. Can we act in something together? Sure. I would cry. I would love that so much. I would love Maybe that. Maybe you so can much shoot him. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have practice. <laughs> oh! Oh! He does one more time. One more time. That was great. One more time. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> So that was sad. great. He got so into it. I love you so much. <laughs> I love there you. There you go. I am available for hire. Boom! <laughs> oh, wow. This is fun. <laughs> yeah, wow. Okay, I haven't tried any of the crumble cookies. Can we go? Okay, sorry. I hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed literally whatever the hell this was. I don't even know. It was a murder at the end. And um, yeah, leave us some comments. Let like, us know uh, what you want. <laughs> what do you what mean? Do you for you know, Christmas? Do you want guests? Do you want more segments? Do you want more costumes? Can we Let book guests? I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll get the guy who actually played Justin Bieber. And <laughs> he probably remembers me. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Bye. Bye.